Hi, and welcome to the Hazard Call Overview. My name is Gene Norman. I'm a meteorologist with the company Hazard Call, which is a service of Weather Call Services. Hazard Call was introduced into the manufactured housing community space around the early part of 2018 as a way to help on-site managers uh, communicate with residents and know about dangerous weather. We, of course, don't believe that dangerous weather like tornadoes or other things target manufactured housing communities. However, we know that they are especially vulnerable and need a tool so that residents can be aware of the fact that weather is headed their way so that they can take quick safety action. Additionally, the ability for an on-site manager to send instant messages makes this an essential tool for anybody who has to manage a manufactured housing community. In a nutshell, we do two things. Our solution provides a way for an on-site manager to send instant messages, like the ones you see on the left-hand side of the screen. They could be about anything going on in your community that residents need to know about. In addition, we are monitoring the weather 24 by 7 and notifying residents by text, email, and if it's bad enough, an actual phone call that dangerous weather is headed to their location. They see an image of where that weather is, where it is relative to where their community is located, and essential safety suggestions. Now, Hazard Call allows you to control the communication because it eliminates you having to go door to door to post signs, etc., for important messages you need to let everybody know about. That will increase your office productivity. So if, for example, the water goes out, you're not answering the phone call 100 times to find out or, or hear from residents who want to know why is the weather, why is the water out and when is it going to come back on. And that, of course, improves resident relationships. You want your residents to know that you're looking out for them and that they can rely on you. And that, of course, makes it a great place for them to live. Here are some actual messages that are uh, that our clients have been sending to residents recently. Uh, the one on the far left lets uh, them know about a water lane, a water outage. And I love this example because it shows uh, real customer service. The manager let them know that there was a break, but that it was going to take longer than necessary or longer than they expected to repair it. Again, that keeps the residents engaged and it lets them know that you are, in fact, on top of a situation like that. In the middle, you see an example of something fun, like a, a, a bingo night, you know, something that you might be doing in your community to let uh, the residents know. And then finally, on the right-hand side, perhaps uh, you want to augment one of our weather messages with letting uh, residents know that the shelter is open or some other weather safety uh, piece of information. We also have enhanced capabilities, such as the uh, ability to put attachments to text messages. You can create resident groups. So you can group the residents by perhaps the street they live on or their family type, maybe they're single, married, or, 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 or seniors. Um, and then you can send messages to those groups that you've established or even to individual residents. We provide you with a password protected management portal that lets you uh, manage your residents, change phone numbers, add them, etc. You have the ability, if you manage an RV space or spaces, to uh, set move in and move out dates. And we even have a way for you to send voice messages as phone calls for landline residents who don't have smartphone access. And we've introduced some new features in 2021, the ability to uh, have a library of preset text messages. This lets you find and send messages you send all the time a lot faster, and you can create your own customized messages to add to the library. Our preset uh, library comes with English and Spanish versions, and you can decide to send those in a bilingual way so that Spanish-speaking residents get the Spanish messages. Coming soon, we're going to have the ability for you to schedule messages as well as create audio uh, uh, preset messages that you can send either to just the landline residents or to everyone in your community. As far as the weather goes, our weather solution is a 24 by 7 weather monitoring process with a 14-year track record of saving lives. Now, the problem we know in weather is that there's overwarning and confusion. While everyone may have their favorite app or favorite place to go to get the weather information, sometimes it's not consistent. 
What you hear on the TV may be different from what you hear on the weather radio or from the outdoor siren. And that causes people to be confused, not sure if they should take action. And then when the next storm comes, they say, well, the last storm didn't really bother me, so I'm not going to worry about the warning I'm getting for this storm. And one of the ways that this manifests is an example on your left here on this screen. You see that uh, as far as the smartphone and the outdoor siren and the weather radio, uh, the red warning box for the actual tornado warning covers two counties. And those devices may just know that they're in those two counties, Tarrant and Dallas counties. And so they're going to alert everyone in both of those counties when that's really not necessary. The weather warnings are very precise and hazard call can let you know if you're in that precise warning because that's really all that matters. If you're in the warning, then you are at risk. And so hazard call focuses on the actual warning and not the county where the warning might touch. Now, when we monitor these weather threats, we notify your residents uh, 24 by 7, sending them texts and emails and even phone calls where we show them where the threat is and we explain what it means. Weather terms can be confusing, and unfortunately, in the weather industry, there are two uh, words that are used that begin with the same two letters, W-A, watch and warning, but they mean two different things. And when we send our messages, we help educate the recipients, your residents, so that they understand what it is we're trying to tell them. The example on the left is a tornado watch, and it means that tornadoes are, are likely in the next few hours. They have, may not have, have started to form yet, but they're possible. And on the right, we have an example when we know that it is a confirmed tornado, we can tell your residents that is confirmed, not just we think it is or it might be on radar, but we actually know that it has been confirmed and this lets them know they need to take immediate action. Now, when the weather that we're monitoring falls into one of the five categories you see on this screen, we actually make a phone call delivered in both English and Spanish to residents as you have them set up in your account. And these five conditions are confirmed tornadoes, a widespread tornado outbreak is expected, 70 plus mile an hour winds and or golf ball size or larger hail, confirmed flash flooding or hurricane force winds are imminent. If any of those conditions exist for your community, we're pinpointing it and we know that we can call your residents with that information. We also help your uh, on-site manager combine the information we send with information that they may know about. For example, in this, in this case, we're notifying our client in Jacksonville about Hurricane Dorian from a couple of years ago. And as that hurricane got closer and closer, the on-site manager sent a message to let the residents know that they are in evacuation zone B and that they needed to uh, secure, a yard, uh, secure their yard so that things in their yard don't become projectiles. Now, this is great because the on-site manager is actually helping to reduce storm damage by proactively sending a message so that residents can protect the property in advance of a storm. Also, when storms are evolving, our on-site managers can augment the weather information with information they know about their particular community and the resources that residents can leverage. In this example, a tornado watch has been issued for this particular client and the on-site manager sent a message letting them know that the shelter is now open. So this is a good way for residents to know that and that they should perhaps start to take action. And then obviously when there is an actual uh, threat with a tornado warning, we send that message by text, by email, and with a phone call. That way the residents know this is serious, this is something you need to react to. As far as establishing hazard call service, there are two phases. The first phase is send us information about your community size, set a launch date, and then collect and send us the resident contact information. Then schedule training so that we can uh, make sure that you fully understand how to use the hazard call service. Once the account has been created and you've been trained, we launch the service on the date that you decide and we begin invoicing you. From that point forward, you maintain the resident contact list so that you can update it as residents move in and move out or change their information. Hazard Call is affordably priced based on the size of your community. Indicated here, 
that uh, units or communities that have 80 or fewer units cost a flat $300 a year. And then the pricing can range from $3.75 per unit per year down to $3.25 per unit per year, depending on the number of units in your community. And you can calculate your costs specifically by going to our website, hazardcall.com forward slash pricing. We have an additional service that you might be able to hear there. It is a toaster size outdoor monitor that will let you know when lightning is within six miles or if you are in a tornado warning. Uh, it plugs in, it has a battery backup, and it can be a great way for you to know if you have a pool or a rec, uh, rec, recreation field, ball field, or campground, etc., so that residents can know that there is danger coming. We also have an option for an entire community to use, which is a much larger siren. And both of these uh, activate based on weather call slash hazard call site specific technology, the ability to know that a storm is in your exact location. Hazard call has been growing since we began in 2018. And these are the locations across the country where we have service. And again, each star there on this map represents one or more communities who are using hazard call. As of this time, over 60 communities with over 9,000 sites. So Hazard Call lets you manage your risk and master your message. If this is the kind of service that would help you better manage your manufactured housing community, please contact me at the email address you see on the screen or the phone number, and you can get more details on our service at hazardcall.com. Thanks so much for watching.